Welcome to episode 25 of our small town series. We are here in Montpelier, Vermont. Now this is a little more special to us because Mont Vermont is also our 48th state. We've done the complete lower 48. So we are super excited to be here. But Montpelier, even though it is a state capital of Vermont, is actually a very small town with only a population of around 9,000 people. And it has tons of history, tons of facts that we cannot wait to check out. So let's go. Montpelier is actually the least populated state capital in all of the United States, as well as home to Ben and Jerry's. Vermont State House is super cool. It has a really nice big green space in front of it, which makes a great way for you to come and bring your kids or your dogs or friends and just come and hang out. People were having a picnic on the steps. People were playing with their children in the grass. People were letting their dogs run around and have fun. It feels like a really fun atmosphere here in the State House, which is awesome. And you can't beat the view here in the fall. Right behind me has a little sign dedicated to Marquis de Lafayette. So he was a huge help to the United States when the, we were fighting against Britain, our Revolutionary War. And when he came here in 1825, he was much older by then, not really in use, but he came here kind of as a ceremonial thing to celebrate the anniversary of the United States, along with people who were here gathered in Montpelier. <laughs> what are you doing? Montpelier is actually a twin city to the city of Bar. So both cities come together and make up a metropolitan area. So that's something kind of neat. And the reason why Ty said this place seems so upbeat and not being drugged down is it's the only state capital in the United States without a McDonald's restaurant. Who knows? Montpelier is also home to Jim Laird. He was an instrumental founder of the NFL. He coached and played for multiple different teams that are not around anymore, but it is really cool that he was there beginning to end and was really awesome and instrumental in it, and he's from here in Montpelier. as well as the Green Mountain Film Festival. Really awesome. Montpelier was an absolute treat. We loved that city so much. We were talking about how it felt somehow right between the line of being big city feel, but small town feel at the same time. We loved the feel of the town and the activities and all the fun and downtown shops. If you guys are going through Vermont, don't skip over the capital, which sounds kind of funny to say, but don't skip over the state, the state capital. Go on in there, check it out for yourself. We love Montpelier, but we're going to have to leave. We will see you guys in a small town again next time. Bye. Montpelier, Vermont is also home to... What's that? Montpelier is also home to the... Montpelier is also home to the New England... Oh my gosh, New England <laughs> Culinary Institute Green Mountain Film Festival. Okay. Montpelier is also home to the New England Culin... Ugh. Montpelier was an absolute, not Montpelier. Yeah. Montpelier? Oh yeah. <laughs>